Heap sort is a sorting technique under a transform and conquer. First, let us see what is a heap. A heap is a binary tree with keys assigned to its nodes, one key per node, provided the following two conditions are met. The first one is a shape property, which says that the binary tree should be complete, that is, all its levels should be complete. Only exception is for the last level where some of the rightmost leaves can be missing. The second property is of parental dominance or heap property. It says that the key in each node is greater than or equal to its children. This is the algorithm heap bottom up. Using this algorithm, the heap is constructed for a given array. This is another important sub-algorithm called maximum key deletion from a heap. Step 1 says exchange the roots key with the last key k of the heap. Step 2 decrease the heap's size by 1. Step 3 is heapify the smaller tree by shifting k down the tree exactly in the same way we did it in the bottom up heap construction algorithm. Lastly, for the current tree, we perform heapify algorithm to reconstruct the heap. Now, coming to the heap sort algorithm. It is an algorithm used to sort a given array using the properties of a heap. Here, the first stage is of heap construction. We construct a heap for a given array. Stage 2 is maximum deletions. For the constructed heap, we apply root deletion operation n minus 1 times to the remaining heap. Let's see an example for the same. The given array is 297658. We need to sort this array using heap sort. First and foremost, let's construct a tree for this array. The tree looks something like this. 297 6, 5 and then 8. Now this is not a heap. So if I heapify it, the heap looks like this. The parent nodes are greater than their children. Now we need to perform maximum key deletion. That is consider the root node and the last element and then exchange it. In the next step, delete the last element. 9 will be deleted. And then again reconstruct the heap. So all the parent nodes are greater than their children. Again to the maximum key deletion. Consider the root node and the last element and then exchange. 8 and 5 are exchanged and then delete 8 and then reconstruct the heap. So now the heap looks like this. Again do maximum key deletion. Consider the root node and the last element swap them 7 and 2 are exchanged 2 goes here 7 goes here and then delete 7 and then reconstruct the heap now the heap looks like this consider the root node and the last element and then swap them so 5 goes here 6 goes here and then you delete 6 so now the tree looks like this 5 2 now exchange 5 and 2 2 goes here, 5 goes here and delete 5. Finally, we have 2 left and then delete that also. To summarize, here the array elements were deleted in the decreasing order. So if you see here, first 9 was deleted and then here 8 was deleted and then here 7 was deleted. In this stage 6 was deleted and then in this stage 5 was deleted and finally 2 was deleted. Now if you see the final result it has all the nodes that was in the original array. It is arranged or sorted in an increasing order using heap sort. This was tree representation. You can see the same example here. In the array representation first stage is the heap construction and the second stage is maximum deletion finally we get the sorted array